first thing to know about word processing software is that you could go to places, there's different, there's different word processing software out there. And uh, so, you know, there is openoffice.org right here where you can get the free and open productivity suite. So we talked about, um, uh, we talked about uh, uh, open source software and this is openoffice.org, where you could get something that's just like Microsoft Office. It's compatible with Microsoft Office in the sense that you could save your files as Microsoft Document documents. And, uh, and it's pretty dang similar. So you can use this for free, which is good to know about. And then also, if you are a student, you could go to collegebuys.org. And uh, Foundation for California Community Colleges comes up. Collegebuys.org is what I typed in. And you can get Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2013, not for $500, but for $40. <laughs> How awesome is that, right, for educational software? So you can check this out, and you can get it here. So that's Microsoft Office. That's openoffice.org. And then, of course, uh, word processing at Google Drive, right? So you could do create and uh, create a document. But, but uh, the documents here aren't going to be as uh, the choices you have for creating them. You're not going to have quite as much functionality. So it's great for really basic documents, but when you really need to sort of do some, you know, word processing with great functionality, uh, you need to step up to uh, Microsoft Word or OpenOffice uh, Word, um, one of those two. Uh, you can change the title of this document here, just FYI, right? Just click on the title and a sample word document all right so the first thing i want to say about uh word processing i'm going to start microsoft word so you just click on the icon you can often find that under start all programs microsoft office if you haven't installed a folder there microsoft office and then i'm going to start microsoft word and when you're in here fyi you could right click this stuff and uh you know depending upon your windows version if you're in Windows 7, you could you could say pin to the taskbar, pin to the start menu. And so what that does is like down here, you see I have a pin to the taskbar. This is called the taskbar down here at the bottom. And uh, if I pin it to my start menu, which I'll do right now, then when I click on start, right, it's now pinned to the start menu. So there it is. And I could right click that, unpin from the start menu. So I'm going to click it. It's going to launch it. The first choice it's going to give me is, uh, do I want to create a blank document, or do I want to take a tour, or do I want to uh, use a template? So there's all kinds of templates out here. So you could just say, hey, I, I need to create something like this, or that, or this. And you could just use that template and then customize it for yourself, you know. And uh, so that's a pretty cool thing. And you can find templates online. Not finding what you're looking for, use the search box at the top to find more templates. So I could go up here and I could search for uh, more templates online and it'll find more templates for me. I'm going to create a blank document. And here's one of the little tricks I like about Microsoft Word. If I have some, uh, if I, I just need to do a sample document, um, I could do two things. I could do my favorite, like, shining Jack Nicholson reference, uh, which is uh, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And then I can highlight that. So I'm going to hold down Shift and hit my up arrow key to select that all shift up arrow and then I'm gonna hit control C to copy that and then I could go you know space control V control V control V and then I could highlight all that right and then control C actually I don't want the return control C and then there's my first paragraph control C control V Right, so there's some sample text I could work with. Alternatively, I could have typed in equals rand, R-A-N-D as in random, and then I'm going to put parentheses and I could put any numbers here that I want. I'm just doing 1414 for no reason. They could be any numbers, and this first number is the number of paragraphs, and the second number is the number of lines per paragraph, or vice versa. I can never remember which. And, it, and then I hit enter, and it gives me a whole bunch of random text to work with. So I've got a bunch of random text to work with. Uh, just between you and me, I think this is the funnest, the most interesting. I'm going to hit Control C on that, and I'm going to go over here to Start. I'm going to go to All Programs and go to Accessories. I'm going to launch Notepad. There's Notepad and there's WordPad, which are also word processing pieces of software, and uh, these two are just really limited in light, just for real basic 
you know, taking notes and uh, or whatever you want to use it for. So I launched Notepad. And the reason I'm showing you Notepad is uh, when I press Control V to put this text in here, right? There is this thing here called Word Wrap. And if I don't have Word Wrap on, it just takes my text and it just keeps moving it way the hell out to the right, right? But if I have Word Wrap on, then it, as I adjust my window size, right? As I adjust my window size, it is showing me, it is showing me, uh, you know, it's wrapping, wrapping my paragraph you know, for the for the page or whatever. And so that was a pretty phenomenal thing that not a lot of people knew about when word processing first came out, which is word wrap. And still I find that some people go into Notepad and they're like, hey, WTF, what the hell? Why am I having to scroll way the hell out here to see everything? And that's because word wrap is not on. So that's a good little deal to know about with uh Notepad. I will often use Notepad just while we're here for, uh, you know, taking formatting out of text. Just what the hell does that mean? Uh, and that seems to be my word of the day. What the hell? Uh, what the hell does that mean? So let's say that I was like at, you know, uh, Reddit and I just wanted to copy all of this. If I highlight all that right there and then right click copy and I go into Microsoft Word, and I paste it, so Alt-Tabbing there to switch between open applications. I'm just going to Control V, as in victory, to paste. And it pastes all the HTML. Well, maybe I don't want the HTML, so I could go Control Z to undo, and then I could do Paste, Special, Paste as unformatted text. And there's just the text. So that's one way to do it. Also, here in Notepad, if I paste, Notepad doesn't let outside formatting come in. It's only text. So if I paste something in Notepad, it is, uh, yeah, it is, it is only text. I just kind of was like power cleaning with 1,000 watt laser. Holy shit. Uh, that caught my eye and my brain hesitated for a moment. I'm going to hit Control Z to do that. So that's one of the things I use Notepad for also is to, um, uh, you know, take away formatting if I'm copying something because it will only keep text. All right. So the next thing you need to know about word processing is that there's a couple of levels of formatting, a couple of levels of formatting. And uh, these won't make sense to you right at first, but then after I kind of go into detail of them, they're gonna make total sense. And so you have formatting on the document level, you have formatting on the page level, you have formatting on the section level, sorry, document, section, page, paragraph, character. And so formatting on the character level, look, I wanna format that character right there, bold, right, red. Uh, bigger, right? I've formatted that one character. So that's formatting on the character level. And I'm just going to hit undo a whole bunch of times. Alternatively, I could be like control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. And there I got it back. That's formatting on the character level. What's formatting on the paragraph level? And you notice on the character level, we are doing that here in font on the home ribbon. These are called ribbons. And, uh, whatever <laughs> right over here though uh, on the ribbons we have this little thing collapse ribbon which is cool if you want to see more of your document but then sometimes it could be like hey what the hell happened to my ribbon and you can come over here and you could click home and it comes back up then you click away hey what the hell happened to my ribbon okay there it is hey what the hell happened oh, there it is hey what the hell happened to my ribbon so to get your ribbon to stick back there's this pin and you stick the pin into the ribbon and it sticks back. Now it will no longer disappear. Good to know. All right, so you notice we have font level formatting. That's character level formatting, font, character. Here next we have paragraph level formatting, paragraph level formatting. So here we have this entire paragraph, right? What if I want to, you know, format this entire paragraph? Uh, there's this thing called select, then do, select, then do. And uh, often it's good to select what you want to format and then do your formatting to it. So I select the paragraph, you know, even if I didn't select the paragraph, look, it's just going to apply it to that one paragraph just because my cursor's in there. But often, yeah, I'm going to change my ways right now, actually, to hell with selecting the paragraph. If your cursor is in the paragraph and you go to paragraph level formatting, it'll format that one paragraph. However, if you want to format two paragraphs, you got to select them because your cursor is only in one, not in two. Select those two paragraphs, and there, I formatted two paragraphs, and now I'm going to hit undo. Just like if I wanted to format more than one character, I'd highlight more than one character, and then I could format more than one character at a time. I made that all red. 
All right, so uh, that's character level formatting. That's paragraph level formatting. And we have uh, some paragraph styles here, which are good to know about justified left, justified right, justified center, you know, justified full. And justified full is generally the best for making things look good on a page, or you could use left. I actually have a preference for left, but full is a very nice look too. And uh, what else do we have? We have line spacing here. You need to have double spacing on your document. There we go. You need one and a half spacing. And this is a great little tool if you have to write like an eight page paper because, cool, I'm at eight pages, right? You just adjust this for you, until you get to eight pages after you've written a, a certain amount. You can add space before the paragraph and after the paragraph, right? So there's that those choices there too. You got this funny little character right there. What the heck's that funny character? You push that guy and it's going to show you your non-printing uh, formatting marks. So now it shows me like there are paragraphs. It also shows me the spaces between characters. And I take this off. It's no longer showing it. I put it on. It's showing it, right? So if I accidentally, if I wanted to see how many spaces are there, I can look and I can see, oh, there's two spaces there. Let me hit backspace and take one out. There we go. And uh, so um, this will indent up here. So that's character level formatting and paragraph level formatting. Yeah. And, uh, and then this is the next thing which is important to know is that you've got these little arrows right here. And if you click these arrows, you get the old sort of like, this has been around since like Microsoft Word 1995, 98. This is the old formatting, paragraph formatting box where you really have uh, a lot more options or I don't know, I'm just used to it. So you got some granular options here, you know. Um, so that's good to know about. You could click these little things here, like here's the font formatting dialog box. And I've got options here that I don't have up here on this ribbon. So uh, good to know about, good to know about. One of my favorite little deals to do is like, okay, uh, you know, here's my name. And uh, I could center that. And then I could make it bigger. And I can make it bold. And then I could go into font. And I could say, hey, give me, uh, there's color, there's bold, underline style, automatic. Uh, text effects, yeah. um, scale, this is like, I was looking for shadow, I don't know where shadow went, that's somewhere, I'll find it in a second, but here we have spacing, right, so I'm going to expand this, and I can start to expand, and you can see down here in the preview, my name expanding, and that's kind of a nice look, that's kind of a nice look, and uh, what happened to shadows, what happened to shadows, there's glow, text effects. Let's go there. Let's go with uh, shadow and we will go with, I like drop right. There we go. And if I make it bigger, not that big. There we go. And uh, you know, if I zoom in on it, so down here to the right, I got this little zoom button, which there we go. I got, come on baby, which is not, there we go. I can zoom, and you can see that shadow there. There we go. And uh, that looks pretty nice with that shadow. So uh, that's a little bit of an introduction to word processing in Microsoft Word. And you've seen some character level formatting and some paragraph level formatting. You've seen these little formatting dialog boxes which come up. And uh, you've seen how to uh, expand the spacing between characters. And uh, you've seen how to change the spacing between lines and between paragraphs. For instance, if I want to change this whole document, control A, go in paragraph and uh, spacing after each paragraph, let's make it more. There we go. And look, the space after each paragraph just got bigger. I'm going to hit undo. So you've really seen how to do things on the character and paragraph level, how to format. Next, we're going to look at a page level formatting, section level formatting, and document level formatting. Uh, good stuff to know. We're all coming right up.